Take that off. I start a little bit back. You take the legs off. So the bevels. Make sure your nails are done and your pads are done. You're gonna clear the bottom of the foot with your curved shear. Great tip on the underarm. Use your chunkers. Run your pinky down the last rib and set the line. I use the number four in the back. Fade everything together. If you want long versions, I have full and tons of versions of schnauzers on my YouTube channel. First oh. miniature schnauzer head, number 10 on your wall for her. You're gonna clear your cheek under the throat, make a little V. There's two little whisker nodules here. That's a good guideline. Take a really nice and easy on the ears. I just did a full video, so you watch that first. Brush the head straight forward. Take a number four guard. Go backwards, flat to the head. Go to the side, run it off. Go to the side, run it off. Take your chunkers, run it down the side of the face. Keep it nice and straight. You're not pushing your scissor in or out. Take your chunkers from the outside corner of the eye to the outside corner of the nose. For full length tutorials, follow us on YouTube, Global Rumors TV. Now our ears. Be super, super careful every single time. Take a deep breath. Go slow and steady. Keep the ear as flat as possible. Try to keep your environment as quiet as possible. You need to be careful every single time you do their ears. Hold the ear flat, run it out to the end of your finger. Hold the ear flat and do the same. I cannot stress to you the importance of being careful when you are doing these ears every single, single time. Natural air schnauzer, take a deep breath. Be very careful every single time. I'm gonna use my wall arco on a number 10 to hold the ear as flat as possible. You need to be very careful every single time. Make sure your environment is quiet. Hold it flat right to the edge of the ear. The inside of the ear, this little flap, be, be very careful. Go with the hair, hold the ear as flat as possible. Straight out and roll it out to the edge of the ear. Take a short, straight shear and carefully go up the outside ear leather. Press your thumb on the edge. Brand new schnauzer client today. I see this all the time. The groomers have been telling the owner that this dog has been stripped. There is no way this dog is being stripped. It has been clippered for all of its life. At this time, I will refuse to strip this animal because it is unfair and cruel to the dog, in my opinion. What we will do is put this dog back in condition. This will probably be a, different, a couple of different videos. If you can notice, the dog's been shaped all the way down the bridge of the nose. I've already informed the owner that it will take well over a year probably to build up that. How are we going to start? We're going to start with a wide undercoat. We're just going to start dragging out the extra fluff. All we're doing is carting out her undercoat. We are not going to go and strip this dog naked if she was going to go to a dog show. This is her after the bathroom blow dry. Follow for part two. We're going to try and even up these legs and deal with this head trip. Part two, standard schnauzer massive makeover. We're using a number two guard and we're just blending her jacket. Make sure that you go with the direction of the hair. These legs are ridiculously uneven, so I'm just going to back brush that straight up. 
I'm going to use a number of A on my log of air and I'm going to just take them down nice and hard and try to even those up. You can see how long her underline is. It looks more like a dress. So if I just take that A and I just take it off, it's going to be a perfect length. You can see how much more even that is, and I haven't even touched her with the scissors yet. You're going to clear the bottom of the foot and set a bevel with your curved shear. Make sure your nails and pads are already done. Massive makeover on this girl. Follow us on YouTube, Global Groomers TV. European head trim. Brand new schnauzer client. My number, number one pet peeve in schnauzer grooming. If you are doing it, stop. This dog has been shaved from the bridge all the way down her nose. So now that is going to take us over a year to grow in. To start her back on a head trim, we're going to use a wide undercoat knife and we're going to just gently drag out those eyebrows before she goes into the bathtub. She's had her back. You can see how much better it already looks. She's a 10 blade on your wall Rivera backwards. Two little whisker nodules under here. A great guideline. Up on the side of her face. Number four, guard backwards. Take it straight at the middle. Switch side to side. So remember, this girl had her whole bridge of her nose shaped, so all we're gonna do is lift that up and just clear the very corners of her eyes. Part two of Schnauzer Makeover. This girl has had the bridge of her nose shaved right off. We've got her flat work done, and she's also getting a European schnauzer, which is a full visor. Comb that hair down to the side of the face. Take your chunkers, run it straight up. Take your chunkers from the outside corner of the eye to the outside corner of the nose. It's exactly the same as regular eyebrows, but think of a soft-coated Wheaton or Kerry Blue. Go back in detail with your thinning shears. So if you're doing this, stop doing it, please. A European head trim, first time with me. Commercial schnauzer legs. Your pads are done, the nails are done. Take a curved shear, clear the bottom of the foot. Put the weight back down on the foot and follow it around with your curved shears and connect the two lines. Same on the back bevel, your curved shear, take it around, clear the bottom of the foot. Don't go into the top of the foot. Place the weight back down on the foot, over direct the hair, and follow the line around. Thank you, TikTok, for all the schnauzer love. It's one of our most popular videos out there. For full length tutorials, go to our YouTube channel, Global Groomers TV. Subscribe for free today. I need to make sure their faces are a rectangle. When I do this, I'm gonna turn my body and walk from the outside corner of the arch to the outside corner of the nose. So I always do this with love. This is what makes a schnauzer a schnauzer. So you need to slow down with the eyebrow. I put my thumb under there just for safety. On the corners of the cheeks, I use a 10 blade backwards. Now one thing I wanted to point out is this dog's been shaved incredibly far under the eye. So I'm just gonna take this line backwards. And it's to the edge of the ear, and you're just skimming it up. Go on the air of caution when you're doing this. You can always go back and take some more hair off after. And I like to use the little whiskers as a nodule, as a guideline, so you can see how much extra hair he's missing. Hair cut before. Schnauzers are very nervous when they first start, so put your clipper on and just take it and desensitize them with the clipper, just rub it, and talk to them calmly and quietly. You can tell he's a little bit nervous. Rub it on his face and reassure him. I'm just giving him a little bit of a clip. I also give him lots of breaks in the middle. What a good boy. You can tell how great he's doing. There's that little baby boy that is supposed to go. Take a wide carding knife and you drag out the undercoat on the eyebrows, this is gonna make a huge difference on all of your commercial dogs and show dogs included. Do this before they go into the bathtub. Huge game changer for you. You can see by dragging that undercoat out of those eyebrows, how incredible that looks. You can see how he's got some killer eyebrows. Follow these tips and you're gonna get beautiful head trims every time.
Remember the schnauzer's head is a rectangle, so equal parts here and equal parts here, here and here. So I just turn my body onto the side here. I'm gonna take this chunker straight down the side of the face. You wanna be careful that you're keeping it straight there and you're not bending it in or bending it out. You wanna take it straight down. On this side, I have to turn my body this way. And I'm just going to the corner of the eye. You're gonna shave the flat work of the miniature schnauzer. You're going to use a number 10 blade on your wall Bravera. And you wanna go against the hair. So you just tip the head up and right where the clipper naturally falls off is where you're gonna clip her to. They also have the little whisker nodules. That is also very helpful. This is the same for all sizes and all colors. Schnauzers can be very difficult, so I hope these tips are helping you. When you're pulling, you're gonna always use your shoulder, okay? And you're just gonna take, you're gonna keep your wrist tight. It's not, you're not going in there all crazy and ripping it off and snapping it. All you're doing is hurting the dog and hurting the shoulder and your elbow. So just, it's very methodical and quiet. So we're just gonna lift the hair with your thumb and you're just pulling it straight back. And I'm not working in the same spot. I'm just you can see there's no screaming and carrying on. It's not painful in any way, shape, or over the shoulders. So I just want to spend a couple minutes. This is a real easy place for you to see it too. You can see how much black is there. So all that hair really has to go. So again, you're always going to focus. You don't have to go quickly. I feel like you need to be very, very methodical when you're stripping. And you definitely need to make sure that you're not going in and snapping. So if you see these videos when they're doing this, they're hurting the dog, they're breaking the hair, and they're hurting their own wrist. It's called mucking or carding, and you can see all that undercoat. Giants typically carry a very heavy undercoat, so you do have to spend quite a bit of time getting all that. If you don't get the undercoat out, it will choke the top. So you're going to pull the skin tight, and all we're doing right now is we are just removing the undercoat. You're going to work in about a one to two inch patch, and you're just dragging out the undercoat. Only 10 days of okay? 